Now, on this first part, I'm going to talk about preparation. And any important thing you are doing, you prepare for it first of all. So, first, solve lots of questions. When I say solve lots of questions, solve almost every question in your textbook you are using. You know, you are really you are you are going for an A, not a B or C. So you should really be prepared and up to the task. And I said go through past questions, otherwise you are not done. Because you can you can you can learn to play f- football on a paper. You kick the ball this way or kick the ball that way. But until you get onto the field. You are not a football player. What are you going to write? You're going to write your WASI examination or your WASI, which is organized by WAIEC. So you need to get acquainted with how they set questions so that you will know whether you are ready or not. You know, most of the textbooks we use might be too high or too low. So when you solve the past questions, you now know the level at which your questions are set. And my second point is that practice solving a full question under 15 minutes. Why are you doing this? You are training yourself to be time conscious. If you do this for a while and you get used to it, you will know that you are not supposed to spend so much time on one particular question, which would help you answer most of the questions you can. Now, the next point is you should be used to your calculator. I've encountered times when students never use a calculator they were always boring when they got to the time where they're writing the examination they were still on a calculator why because they were not used to it you know our brains get used to what we always do so i'll urge you during your time of practice or during your time of preparation get a personal calculator where you are using so that during the examination you'll be fast get rid of thoughts of weakness in a particular topic otherwise seek help with the aim of making progress so, while we were in our infancy or while we were coming up, maybe we were demotivated or told we were not good in a particular area, or we've told ourselves we are not good in a particular area because of certain experiences we had in class. One thing I want you to know is that it is, it is possible to understand anything. So, get rid of your weakness. Get rid of thoughts of weakness. If you really want to make progress, you, then you will seek for help. Otherwise, if, you, if, if, if there is no way to get help, then get rid of those thoughts. The way out from friends, ask from your teachers, so that you now perfect those topics or areas where you think you are not good at. Now have a good night's rest before taking the exam. This is one thing most students don't do. They study and cram till the morning of the paper before they have a short sleep or nap. And some of the students end up missing their paper or they enter the exam hall tired according to research there are certain toxic which build up in a brain while we are active so during sleep those toxic are cleared so if you now go to the exam hall tired you might not give out your best sometimes you study and then you get to the exam hall it looks like you don't know anything but as the paper comes you're able to remember what you learned So there are only two sections. That's the objective section and then the section B. Now I said I'm going to show you how to finish the objectives before it's time. So before I get there, we have objective test and then section B, the tools you need. If you are writing the WAEC, WASI, there are certain tools you need. So the first one is the calculator. The second one is a mathematical set which is fully stocked. Every instrument which is supposed to be in it is in it. Then a 30 centimeter rule. The reason for the 30 centimeter rule is when you are drawing a graph. And I'll tell you why in the video. So the objective test. How to finish before the time. Now before I talk about this, you should know that definitely all the topics in your test book or the syllabus is coming. That's for sure. So, how to finish before time? Questions which are less time consuming should be solved first. So, this is it. You, you go to number one, you realize that number one, you have to do a very long calculation before you get your answer. Just skip it. Move to number two, move to number three. And, you know, pick those questions which are less involving or less calculation intense. 
begin to mark those questions you have not solved and you realize that you would have answered most questions when you get to the end of the paper solving questions which are less which involves less calculation you now come back to questions which are going to take your time now let's assume you start with number one and number one has number one is very tedious you, you calculate and you even end up not finding your answer you've wasted so much time there so the best thing to do is go through the whole number of questions answer the ones some, some of the some of the questions you can just point, point on the calculator or just read through and then just select the answer go through that before you now come back and then solve those questions which are calculation intensive and one advice i'll give to you is this when you solve a question and you don't get you don't find the answer in the options skip it again so you put two asterisks on it then you move on so by the time you realize you would have solved all the questions you can solve very well and you will get your full mark for those questions you can solve other than spending so much time on a particular question whilst the other questions behind you can solve so this is the trick i was talking about i use in school and i always finish my paper early two questions again to solve questions which you've not attempted i already mentioned this so the section b firstly go through the questions to see the ones you can confidently solve and do them first so as long as you are giving your section b look through you don't just start and you just start working and you are shaking no take your time look through the questions you can solve look at the number of questions you're supposed to solve and also very importantly read the instructions so important read instructions you know that boosts your confidence and i'll show you certain type of questions you're supposed to solve at the end certain type of mathematical questions you're supposed to solve at the end and i'll mention that to you prioritize compulsory questions and solve them and solve the ones you know first so compulsory questions are compulsory questions they are supposed to be answered all of them so solve the ones you can solve first and you know don't 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 not begin to worry because once you begin to worry you are just weakening yourself during the examination because the examination is timed you know you don't have the whole day to write the paper move on to optional and attempt questions you are comfortable with first as well solve questions which are calculation intensive first for the section b otherwise when you are when you now come to those questions at the end of the paper you will be in a haste you'll be rushing you'll be in a haste and during those times you need full concentration full focus and the times when your focus is very full or high is when you have now started the paper draw drawings such as graphs and construction should be answered last this is what i was talking about you see drawings those ones you don't need to really focus that much you have just have your graph sheet in front of you or, and those ones are not that labor intensive so you can rush through those ones don't spend more than 15 minutes on one question it's so important so you should be time conscious just when you realize that you are spending too much time that is when you are not able to do it you keep canceling keep making mistakes going back to it again just leave it and go to the questions you can answer so you need to go to the basics now every mathematics topic depends either on one or more of these topics you need to get acquainted with these topics i i cannot overemphasize on this go to the basics because one thing i've realized with students is mostly they don't understand a particular topic because they don't know the basics sometimes it could just be a little division or multiplication of variables or even basic x plus x and then x times x some students do not know the difference so they end up messing the whole thing up and anything you learn is based on a previous knowledge you already had you can't say you've not learned anything at all so integers fractions algebraic expression multiplication of binomials factorization linear e equation change of subject hcm and then lcm as well as ratio and proportion and one more topic i would like to add is word problem you should understand word problem so that you will be able to 
interpret them into numbers or equations. So the basics is very important. You need to first of all know your basics. And if you are not comfortable with any of these topics, I will urge you to ask a teacher, ask a friend, or make the conscious effort to get these before we move on. So before I show you the topics, I would urge you to make sure you focus as well on topics I didn't mention. The only reason why I'm showing you these topics is because they are likely to be seen. At least two of these are likely to be seen in any standard WASI examination. So the first topic is circle theorem, word problem, probability and statistics, construction, variation, mensuration, indices, logarithm, and vectors and bearing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, go through your test book as well as your past question and make sure you are very comfortable with them. You can go online as well and then search for questions on these and then solve. Because you are going for an A, not a B or anything. So you make sure you are very good, not just in these topics, but the topics as well. Now, one thing I'll say is this. You know, before two boxes get into a ring, the winner has already been declared. Where was the winner declared? The winner was declared during the training session. So before you enter the exam hall, you already know you have your E. You are not now going to enter the exam hall finish and then go home to think that i get it or did i not get it before you enter you know you are prepared and up to the task so let's look at some general tips learn all formula and know the units of quantities calculated for for example in mensuration calculation of area calculation of volume and other things you are calculating for you know the unit when you think you know a particular topic but you keep messing up leave that question and get back to it after solving others so let's say you move to a particular question. You know you are very good at it. But you, you solve and then you realize you made a mistake somewhere. You cancel and you keep canceling. Just stop it. Move to other questions and then come back. Or if you are done, that's the last question. Take a breather for, let's say, a minute or two. You might be thinking you are wasting time. But, you know, the benefit will outweigh the time you've, you've, you've left behind to relax. Because you are, you are helping yourself to relax and then get back to the question again. For graph X. Indicate your X and Y axis as well as your scale. Don't spend too much time on a particular challenging question. Move on to the latter and get back to it again. If you learned anything from this video, I will urge you to subscribe to this channel. And one thing I also want you to do is that if you have learned anything, I want you to comment in the comment section. Something you didn't know about what you know about now, I want you to comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video to the end. This is Sir Prince. This is Study By Yourself.